The government is going to kill anyone who stands for the U.S. Constitution. Well, those are very strong words from Captain Hestelow, but I think he is perhaps properly identifying the domestic enemies of the Constitution that would seek to enslave our citizens under the guise of protecting our citizens, right? Department of Homeland Security. Gee, I wonder who's gonna be more secure, the government with all those rounds of ammunition or the citizens who are being denied their Second Amendment rights? I think Jesus would favor the Second Amendment. This is my opinion that the Holy Spirit would allow the citizens to protect themselves rather than delegating that to a government to go on and arm themselves against the citizens in the name of protecting the citizens. Jesus himself, and here's the context, right? Picture this, Jesus is about to be crucified. He's being hunted by the Pharisees. He's being hunted by the Roman guards. And Jesus, in those circumstances, about to be persecuted by the government, Jesus turns to his disciples in Luke chapter 22, verse 36, and he says, if you don't have a sword, sell your cloak and buy a sword. You know what, citizens, if you don't have a gun, I'm telling you as a Christian chaplain, sell your clothes and buy a gun. It's time. The government persecution will be coming against you and you need to arm yourselves and defend your family when that time comes.